You can almost see the trees on the island. So that there in the distance is Kangaroo Island. I'm currently at Cape Jervis, which is where the ferry leaves. To go over to Cape Jervis. March 2012, CME, an energy economics consultancy to the Energy Users Association of Australia, reported Australia as having the highest electricity prices compared to 91 other similar economies at average 2011 exchange rates and predicts it will continue to increase to around 20% by 2014. South Australia's household electricity prices were the third highest the highest being Denmark and Germany. As of October 2010, South Australia's market penetration of 19.4% placed it on par with the world's leading nation, Denmark, which provided approximately 19% of its total electricity from wind. On August 27, 2013, the ADC published an article in which South Australia's Conservation Council claimed a record amount of wind energy generated in South Australia demonstrated the need for more investment in renewable technology. Due to recent wild weather, wind turbines produced almost half of South Australia's electricity, while in comparison, Victoria only produced 10% through its wind farm. The Clean Energy Council says wind farms powered the equivalent of 2.3 million homes nationwide. Conservation Ch Council Chief Executive Tim Kelly said South Australia is on track to achieve its 2020 renewable energy target of 33 per cent. My question is Mr Kelly, why are we producing solar energy in summer, wind energy in winter, yet the cost of free renewable energy is so expensive? Why are we paying the third highest price for energy internationally? The technology is being developed and the vast majority of costs associated with wind development are upfront capital costs. The operating costs are relatively low with each additional unit of wind power costing very little to produce. By comparison, conventional gas and coal developments have large capital costs as well as significant operating costs. How long does the physical cost of energy take to be absorbed by reduced cost to the environment? Australia is the fifth highest per capita emitter of greenhouse gases, ranking first of the industrialised nations and 16th of all countries in total country emissions. It is one of the major exporters of coal, the burning of which releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. It is also one of the countries most at risk from climate change, according to the Stern report. Clean coal technologies may not be commercially available for at least 20 years. Furthermore, to bring down the high cost of nuclear power to a level where it could compete with wind power would require a new generation of nuclear power stations that are still on the drawing board and could take at least 15 years. Have we become such narcissistic capitalists that we no longer care about the impact to our society, our planet, and the future of our children. In the infamous words of Pauline Hanson, please explain.